So now we're going to talk about the slope of a line. So draw your axes. Make sure you label x and y. So let's say we have a line. Just draw one through real quick. Okay, so there's our line. And let's just take two generic points on the line. So let's take this point and this point. And let's label them. This first point here will be x1, y1. That's to, just to denote a generic point on our line. And this one here we'll brilliantly enough call x sub 2, y sub 2. And uh, those subscripts are just to denote we've got two generic points that are different um, from our line. Slope of a line. The symbol we use for slope is m. There's still some debate on why we use m, but I'll leave that for you guys to uh, research on your own. All right, so slope is defined to be the change in y divided by the change in x. And really what that means is the difference. All right, change means difference. So this spot right here, if we come down here, this would be x1, and this spot right here would be x2. This spot here would be y1, and this spot right here would be y2. Okay. So slope's defined to be the change in y over the change in x, so the difference. So the difference from this y value to up to this y value would be y2 minus y1. And then divide that by the change in the x values. Well, that would be uh, the, the difference between x sub 1 to x sub 2 would be x sub 2 minus x sub 1. And that's your little, your little slope formula. It's referred to as a rate of change. Um, so slope is a rate of change. And if you go into calculus, you'll uh, get to explore rates of change um, a lot, which is, which is they turn out to be very, very important. Um, but I'll leave that for a later discussion. All right, so it's kind of a formula, but it's better if you think of it as, if you understand the concept, as opposed to just trying to memorize this formula. And the concept says the following. If you have two points that lie on your line, then the slope of that line has to be the difference of the y values divided by the difference of the x values. All right, so let's look at an example. Find the slope of the line passing through the points 3, negative 2, and 5, negative 7. All right, so m equals... All right, the difference in the y values, so 7 and negative 2. So 7 minus negative 2 divided by the change in the x values, the difference. So negative 5 minus 3. And then we get, see, that goes to 7 plus 2 on the top, and that goes to negative 8. And so the slope is just negative 9 eighths. All right, so now what if we did it this way? What if we would have said m equals, and instead of going 7 minus negative 2, what if we went negative 2 minus 7 all over 3 minus negative 5? Well, you get negative 9 on the top, and you get 3 plus 5 on the bottom, so you still get negative 9 eighths. This is fantastic news. This means that you, it doesn't matter which point is x1, y1, um, or which point is x2, y2. All that matters is that we subtract the y values in the top and the x values in the bottom. The important thing to remember is to do that subtraction in the same direction. If you go 7 minus negative 2 in the top, then you must go negative 5 minus 3 in the bottom. Do not go 7 minus negative 2 in the top, and then 3 minus negative 5 in the bottom. You'll get the opposite of what you're looking for. So the entire concept is just subtract the y values over subtracting the x values and just do the subtraction in the same direction. All right, so now let's look at four graphs. Okay. When you graph a line, one of four things can happen. You can have a line that does this, does this, does this, pretend that's straight, and does this. Okay. 
When you graph a line, only one of those four things has to happen. It either goes up from left to right, and don't forget you read graphs from left to right. So the, the line can go up from left to right, down from left to right, it can be horizontal, or it can be vertical. All right, so for lines that go up from left to right, the slope is positive. So if you know you have a positive slope, then your line, when you graph it, has to be going up from left to right. If, you're, if your line is going down, then your slope has to be negative. So again, if you know you have a negative slope, then you know when you graph it, that line has to go down. So we're trying to gather a bunch of information before we ever even go graph the thing. All right, so remember, slope is a rate of change. So here, we're a horizontal line. So nothing changes. The y values are always the same. So the slope is 0. And then for vertical lines, the slope is undefined. All right, to see why the slope of a horizontal line is 0 and the slope of a vertical line is undefined, all right, so suppose you had the graph of the line y equals 2. So remember, you go up 2 on the uh, y-axis there, and then you draw your horizontal line. Since x is missing in the equation, x can be anything it wants to be, but y has to be the same number 2. All right, so two points on this graph would be, say, like this is 1, uh, and this is 3. So this spot here would be 1, 2, and this spot here would be 3, 2. And so when you want to find the slope, you would have 2 minus 2 on the top, 3 minus 1 on the bottom, 0 over 2, which gives you 0. So the slope of a horizontal line is always going to be 0 because the y values are always the same. When you subtract the y values on top, then you're going to get 0. All right, so now what about vertical lines? All right, we'll say you have x equals 3. So we go over 3, and we draw our line, and since y is missing this time, y can be anything it wants to be, but all the x values have to be 3. So if we take a couple of points on this, this is 1 and this is 2, so then this point right here would be 3, 1, and this point right here would be 3, 2. So then the slope would be 2 minus 1, subtract the y values, over subtract the x values, and you get 1 over 0. And remember, 0 in the denominator, bad. So the slope is undefined, and that is why the slope of a vertical line is undefined. All right, so if, your slopes are if the slope of your line are positive, your line goes up from left to right, also known as increasing. If your slopes are neg slope of your line is negative, then your line is going down from left to right, also known as decreasing. If your slope is zero, then you have a horizontal line, and if your slope is undefined, you have a vertical line. All right, two more concepts to uh, discuss. I'll make a couple of notes. Number one, two non-vertical lines are parallel if and only if their slopes are equal. So if you have two lines that have the same slope, then when you graph them, they will be parallel and they will not intersect. Number two, two lines are perpendicular if and only if their slopes are negative reciprocals of each other. Now what this means is if m1, and I'm just saying that's m, that's the slope for line one, if that was equal to two-thirds, for example, then M2, if they are to be perpendicular lines, would have to be negative 3 halves. They're opposite signs of each other and reciprocals of each other. Their product, if you multiply these two things together, give you negative 1. All right, so that's it for now. Um, study well. Please let me know if you have any questions.